Hello there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and I've got this in the shade Light 42. Now this foundation is something that a lot of people recommended to me when I went cruelty free because I am so freaking pale <laughs> and I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to find a cruelty free foundation that was one really good and two pale enough for me so a lot of people just said get the Kat Von D foundation we don't have at least as far as I know we don't have a Kat Von D in the UK but when I was abroad a few weeks ago I there was a Sephora there in Palmer so I decided to buy it there and then but you can get it on the Sephora website as well now this foundation says here that it's full coverage, uh, 24 hour wear, transfer resistant, matte finish, fragrance free and oil free, which is everything that I like really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through the pros, the cons, and then after that I'm going to show you a quick demo of me applying it to my face, some um, makeup free. And I am wearing it today on my face by the way, this is the Cap Von D foundation on my skin. So firstly I'm going to talk through the pros, so I've got a list here. So um, the first pro is it's so pale it is ridiculously pale like I am so white here and when you're very pale it can be very hard to find a foundation that is pale enough for you and it sounds ridiculous but it, it's just the way it is for some reason foundations don't they just don't like to have a good color range basically so when you're pale like me a lot of the time your only option is to mix it in with a white foundation what other whatever foundation you have. I think it is even, this is the first time I've ever said this about foundation, but I think it's even a little bit too pale for me, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> the next pro is that it is full coverage. It is a brilliantly full coverage foundation and I've only got one layer on. I did one pump and I put it all over my face and I've got a great coverage. And now, bearing in mind, my, my skin is pretty good at the moment, but um, when I had a breakout a few weeks ago around my cheeks, I remember sometimes I'd be really lazy and i just put on one layer anyway of foundation and it would still cover when I had more time and I would build up the foundation so there was like a couple of layers on my cheeks to to hide the breakout it just it just covered it so well it's amazing and this would have been so good for me a few years ago when I was suffering from acne and I had very oily skin this is everything that I would have needed in a foundation at that point I mean I don't really need full coverage now but it's nice to have that option and you can build it up easy and you can still have one layer of foundation on your skin and it not feel too heavy which is what I like and I was worried this would feel very heavy especially with the consistency but it doesn't feel like that at all on the skin so yes, yeah, so the, the third pro I put down here was is perfect for people with acne. If you if you do have acne and you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this foundation. But if you do have oily skin or just combination normal skin and you do suffer from acne, this this should cover it. The fourth pro is that it never creases. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm also using a, a moisturizer, my Dr. Organic Rose Otto day cream but it doesn't crease like I don't get any like smile lines like sometimes when I smile like that I'll get like a little like line there a little line there but no it, it just it doesn't seem to do that again I'm surprised as full coverage foundations tend to be more prone to creasing because they're heavier the next pro is that a little goes a long way I just need one pump one pump of this will cover my whole face and as you can see I mean I think that's lasted I've had it since the beginning of April and I think that's lasted pretty well for two months so I'm happy with that and the final pro of course is that it's cruelty free Kat Von D's makeup is all cruelty free so yes yeah, so there's a lot of pros with this foundation and I'm now going to be talking about the cons it takes a while to blend into the skin because it is a bit of a thicker consistency it takes a little bit longer I use this brush here 101 brush by Real Techniques a foundation brush and it can take a little bit longer so if I'm in a bit of a rush I tend to actually avoid using this foundation because it can take quite a bit longer and can take up a bit more of my time another con is that you need to use the right tools when I first started using this foundation I was just using cheap little sponges just and it just didn't work at all something like this is what you need for it to work you you can't use I find like using cheaper tools is not going to do the job which is a bit of a pain because this like I said is expensive enough already I feel like you need to really take your time for this to work on days when I have used this in a rush and I haven't properly blended it into my face and blended it into the pores it doesn't last as long and it can get quite patchy and then it just doesn't it doesn't look good it will work well if you just blend it in really properly into the skin if you do that 
then it works well but um I can't just really quickly just do this and then I'm good to go because it won't last it won't last the same way the next con is that it will show up dry areas on your skin which is why I use a little bit of moisturizer now because it would make my nose look very dry and also a bit of my forehead so like I said I now use a day cream and it I don't have a problem with that at all now I don't suffer from dry skin though so I was surprised that it was an issue with me at some point if you do suffer from dry skin quite a lot then this foundation wouldn't be for you and like I said another another con it can get Get a little bit patchy throughout the day it can build up a little bit it's weird because some parts of my face can stay absolutely flawless my cheek area um, it's usually like around here and around here where it can get a little bit patchy i used this when i went for a night out a few weeks ago um, and like i said i may have like not taken my time enough putting it blending into my face but it looked terrible the next day it was it's showing like lots of redness and it's lots of little dots where your pores are and as for the forehead it was exactly the same thing and I was just in shock I was really disappointed I wouldn't say it lasts 24 hours I think this is ideal for like during the day or for maybe if you're going out for a meal in the evening but but when I wore this like on a proper night out and I was you know dancing all through the night and all that it just was not the foundation for that kind of thing when it starts to break up a little bit it shows it does show it always lo looks like it's sitting right on top of your skin instead of blended into your skin that was a bit disappointing for me when that happened because I've had like days on this when I wear this to work and it's brilliant when I feel like I've got an oily face I look in the mirror and my skin is completely matte it stays matte so that again that's another another pro I know I sound like I've got mixed feelings over this foundation and I have I don't love it I don't hate it I some days I use it and I'm very happy with it other times I, I will be a bit disappointed in how it looks I just think as long as you like I said, take your time blending it in, then throughout the day it should wear well. But I would not recommend this for a night out kind of foundation. I wouldn't recommend it really for that. I would just recommend it more if you're going out for a few hours and you want to look really nice like for, um, if you're going out for lunch or you're going out for dinner maybe, then it, it will be perfect for that. Another con is that it's expensive. I just had a look and it's $35 from Sephora. But it, it will last a long time and overall I think I'll give this like a, seven out of ten i think and now what i'll do is i'll show you how i apply it onto the skin okay so i'm not wearing any makeup at all at the moment this is just my bare skin and what i'm going to do before putting on the foundation is put on a little bit of day cream this is dr organics rose otto day cream and i'm just going to be putting a little bit just um on my nose and my forehead because i tend to get quite dry skin around this area okay so now what i'm going to do is put on the foundation and i'm going to be using my real techniques 101 i think yeah 101 foundation brush so this is all i'm going to be using so i just take one pump on the back of my hand and just see how it goes from there really as i'm sure you can see it is very pale <laughs> and this brush is brilliant for this kind of foundation because it really just helps it sink into the skin well which is what I really need with this so I'm just going to make sure my under eyes are covered and also bring that down there I need like a little thin layer around this area I don't want it to build up too much under my nose and around my chin it's not a very liquidy kind of foundation so it takes a little bit longer for it to blend in but I like it because once it is blended in, for example, it's blended into like this kind of area now, I've blended that all in. And you can still see some of my natural skin colour coming through, but it still gives a really good amount of coverage. Just doing my nose now. This is the last of it, so I think I may, I think I might get away with just using what I had on that pump really. I like to work quickly with this foundation because like I said again it's not very liquidy it's a foundation that dries very very matte so I like to get it all blended in as quickly as I can so usually I would dot foundation all over my face and then blend it all in but with this foundation I, I prefer to do it section by section because if you leave it too long it just doesn't work the same way so I just feel like it, it blends in better if um, I do it bit by bit and now my nose area is where it seems to be the hardest place for it to blend in so that's how it's all looking i actually do not feel like i need another layer of this you can build it up and use another layer but i feel like this is 
all right as it is and i'm just going to set it with collections press powder in ivory this is a very lightweight powder and if you've watched any of my other videos then you'll know that i love this powder so much and so that's what it looks like all i think it's so natural looking for a foundation that is such full coverage which is probably my favorite thing about it and yeah okay so yes overall i like the foundation i just find it a little bit unreliable when it comes to the 24 hour wear i think sometimes it will last sometimes it won't but i think that for more like a 12 hour wear um as opposed to a 24 hour wear it should last it should last fine i just think once you get to over that 12 hour mark it will start to let you down a little bit unfortunately but if that doesn't put you off and you're still um sold by the full coverage by the matte finish and maybe like me by the fact that it's so pale then i would recommend it so yes that's my thoughts on it and thank you everyone so much for watching take care everyone and have a wonderful day bye